there everyone it's Ian from RTO here um, welcome to another artwork ranking show this is part two of Derrick Riggs um, apart from doing a lot of Iron Maiden stuff um, Derrick Riggs has done quite a lot of other artwork for other people um, I have found out some interesting bands that I'm going to be looking at and once I'd forgotten about that need to be ranked, so uh, doing these album covers is always very positive. So I found 34 album covers that Derek Riggs has had a hand in. So without further ado, we're going to start. Now some of them, I couldn't find much about them. Um, not what the album was. All I know is the name of the band, so some of them are a little bit vague, but they're worth a look at anyway. So coming in at number 34 is an album by someone called Vital Caprigi. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's the album's called Forward and Beyond, and it's from 1984. No, 2004, sorry. Uh, this has got a combination of live pictures and artwork. I think it's very clever. Uh, quite a good um, cover. Uh, coming in at number 33 is a band called Artisan. The album's called Future World from 2005. That's pretty cool. Uh, I've had a listen to their stuff and um, it's been penciled in the uh, albums to look at. Uh, really good cover that is sort of a bit Iron Maiden -y in places okay then coming in at number 32 a band that's been on featured on other people's artwork it's Budgie Night Flight from 1981 uh, this is a band that we will be looking at but that's pretty cool it's got these elements of uh, Iron Maiden in there with the steps and uh, the space age guy it's a budgie instead of Eddie spaceship it's very very good okay then coming in at number 31 is someone called Gilman um, I don't know if he's Mexican but the album is called Cajumoc now this looks this looks like Eddie dressed up as a Mayan priest Mayan Indians from Mexico, uh, that looks like a very, that's a Mexican um, pyramid. I love that cover, I love that sort of thing anyway. I mean, I've been up, um, so I've been to Mexico and I've seen Copra Maya and all the all the famous ones. So I love, love that cover, it's just, this is a bit Eddie-like, isn't it? Okay, the, this is the first of an unknown album, an unknown year. By a band, the band's called White Wizard. How cool is that? <laughs> I love that. It's it's a fantastic um, picture. Now, I found this on his actual website, but there was no name of band. I mean, album or what year it came out. So coming in at number twenty nine is another. Um, album that I have no idea what it is but it's by a band called Gallows Pole um, that's a bit freaky isn't it very freaky um, I don't think we needed the third eye myself but there you go okay then coming in number 28 it's another unknown album by a band that are called Dark Quiet found other stuff by them but not this one I think that cover is so cool you can tell it's done by Derek Riggs though fantastic cover okay then coming in at number 27 there's a chap called Ethan Brosh the album is called Out of Oblivion from 2009 as you can see we've got a bit of a somewhere in time theme going on here which is pretty cool uh, it's even got his name on the front of the cover okay coming in at number 26 uh, the first of a few album covers he's done for this band Stratovarius 
This is 1992's Twilight Time. Uh, it's another band that we will be looking at at some stage. Uh, I love this cover. It's I love the planets and I like how the Stratosphere is written. If you've seen some of my artwork, I like that. I do that sort of artwork. I like that sort of thing. Okay, then coming in at number twenty-five is a band called Crimson Rain. Uh, the album's called The Calling from 2013. Again, this is very Iron Maiden-ish. I mean, by this time he hadn't, he wasn't doing artwork for Iron Maiden, so uh, this is as near as, get, as he gets to it, and it's pretty cool. Coming in at number 24, another band that he's done quite a bit for. Uh, Gamma Ray, uh, if you don't know who Gamma Ray is, it's Kai Hansen from Halloween's band. This is Power Plant from 1999. It's got lots of little bits of Iron Maiden ish in this. It's a pretty cool cover. Okay, coming in at number 22, this is the Alvin Lee band. Um, Alvin Lee is from, and I can't think of the name of the band off the top of my head. Ten years after, that's it. Uh, this is a band he put together, and the album's called RX5, and this is one of Derek Riggs' earlier ones uh, from 1981. Looks like a Cyberman type Eddie character. Pretty good. Okay, coming in at number 21. Uh, this is um, a chap called Timo Tolki, Him to Life from um, 2002. Again it's got them little bits of um, Iron Maiden in there. Uh, pretty cool cover. Okay then coming in at number 20 we have a band called Zonata. The album is called Reality from 2001. Pretty cool cover. Pretty cool cover. It's got little bits of everything in there, really. Uh, very good, clever. Okay, next, number 19. Uh, this is Gamma Ray again, Blast from the Past. It's a uh, compilation album from 2000. Again, we've got this look of Iron Maiden thing going on with uh, the pyramids. Uh, I love the little spaceship thing up in the left here. It looks like the spaceship from Transatlantic. Uh, pretty cool cover. Coming in at number 18. It's a band called Misha. Uh, this is pretty cool. It's supposed to be Rasputin. I think that's a fantastic picture. I don't know if it's an album called Rasputin or whatever, but I think that is pretty cool. Okay, coming in at number 17, uh, it's another unknown album name or year. The band's called Noodle, but that is pretty cool. I think that's fantastic. Um, nice artwork. Okay, coming in at number 16, uh, this is an album by Max Middleton and Robert Huawei. Uh, another Sleeper from 1979 bit weird and wonderful okay coming in at number 15 a band called Twisted Tower Dyer Crest of Martyrs from 2008 again it's got a bit of that Iron Maiden feel to it pretty cool cover I mean, if you can tell you got all these lit that down at the bottom of that tombstone you've got all these sort of little tiny munchkin type characters you've got the grim reaper in there it's all it's a pretty cool cover okay coming in at number 14 uh, this is a guy called Chris Cantena the album's called Discovery from 2008 that is so psychedelic that is so cool bit of flower power very colourful cover from Mr Riggs. Okay, coming in at number 13, uh, we've got another Stratovarius album from 2000. Stratovarius is infinite. Very, very clever this is. 
It looks like he's crossing from the two universes. Uh, pretty cool cover. Love the dolphins going through the eight in the middle, the infinite, whatever. Pretty cool. Okay, coming in at number 12. This is Morrissey and Mullen. This is a jazz fusion duo. Kate Ruff from 1979. Um, I just love it. It's very dramatic. I love the colour of the sky. I mean, Kate Ruff is just... You can just about see the name of the album. Okay, then, coming at number 11. Uh, another Gamma Ray album. This is New World Order from 2001. Pretty cool cover, that is. Uh, that's another band we're going to be looking at. Let's move into the top 10 then. Uh, coming in at number 10 then. Uh, a band called Guardians of Time. The album's called Edge of Tomorrow from 2001. Again, a really cool cover. I think it's a little bit Iron Maiden-ish as well. It's got the... Uh, pretty cool. Right, this next one. Uh, number nine. It's a band called... I think it's pronounced Sarum Ladamuth. The album's called El Guardian de la Mela Paradas uh, from 2001. Pretty cool cover again. I've had a listen to them. Uh, they sound pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into them, but I think I might do a ranking of them at some stage. Okay. Coming in at number eight. Uh, it's another unknown album, but the band is Valhalla. Uh, couldn't find nothing about this cover. Found everything about everything else, but not this. I think that's a little bit from uh, Seventh Son of a Seventh Son type thing going on there. Pretty good. Okay, coming in at number seven. It's sort of connected with Iron Maiden. It's called Numbers from, from the Beast, the All-Star Salute to Iron Maiden bit different but yeah, I do like it ok then coming at number 6 another one from Gamma Ray uh, this is someone out in space from 1997 this is so Iron Maiden it's unreal but I do like it it's got a lot of Iron Maiden touches in there ok coming at number 5 there's a band called Takara Perception of Reality from 2001. Um, love this colour. It, oh, it's great cover, great colour. I love the little line of butterflies flying off into the sun. Pretty cool. Okay, coming in at number four. Again, this is an unknown album cover, but it's by someone called, it's a guitarist called Timo Capelto. I've looked up and it's it's got a list of albums that you cannot click onto it on the internet for some reason um, but I do like that cover again it's got that overtone some power slave uh, the only thing that's missing is Eddie's face on the Sphinx but it's a pretty cool cover okay top three now uh, coming in at number three is stranglehold stranglehold I love that. I love that ring. Pretty cool. Looks like the this little figure on the top of the podium thing is something to get you this little man with the electricity volts and all sorts. Really good. Okay then, coming in at number two. It's an album cover we all know. Uh it's Bruce Dickinson's Accident of Birth from nineteen ninety seven. Oh, I love that cover, we'll always have. Brilliant album as well. Uh, great cover. So, this one I've never seen in my life. The number one. It's by a band called Impolitary. Don't know where they're from. The album's called Pedal to the Metal. Metal, sorry. And look at that beauty. You've got the mask. You've got the drag race, ragster, flames, heavy metal. So that's why it's my number one. It's one of the best covers I've seen from Derek Riggs. 
including all these Iron Maiden stuff. I think that is absolutely superb. Okay, that's the that was number one. Um, before I sign off today, there is another. It's not an album cover, but some artwork he done for a band. And as it comes up now, I don't know if that's Eddie's mum, Eddie's sister, Eddie's daughter, but it's a, a logo that he done for the tribute band, all lady Iron Maiden tribute band. Now, if you've not heard them. They're pretty amazing. Um, I'm going to put some of their songs in a playlist for you guys to listen to because when I first heard them, I thought they were absolutely stonking. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. You know, they can do all the riffs. The girl singing is brilliant. Um, so I've found a few bits to put in a playlist for you. So uh, that's the end of another artwork. Now, next week's. While I was doing this, I found some more stinkers, and uh, the, uh, just on on the album pages. I'm going to do some more. I'm going to do twenty more stinkers because I found some worse than what I've got. So uh, that's going to be next week. Uh, it's going to be a little show just to get a bit of an update. I've got some fantastic news to tell you all. Uh, anyway, um, it's more to do with you guys than me but uh, I'll be doing a little 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 video for that um, if not I'll see you all tomorrow uh, tomorrow what have we got for you we've got a poll winner that I set for live album ranking because Friday's is live ranking day and we're going to be looking at the live albums of progressive rock legends yes including every live album they've put out Anything to do with yes gets a mention in my in my little show. Um, so that's for tomorrow. Um, we're looking at an album by Heavy Water as well. It's basically Biff Bifford and his son Seb. Do it. They made an album during lockdown called Red Sick Bridget, Red Brick City. Uh, so that's all tomorrow. So whatever you're doing on tonight. Have a great night. I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care for now.